Hi, my name is Sheila Willis of Impact Tourism, the developer of the History Check mobile app. Welcome to History Bites, your daily dose of Alberta historical trivia. Brought to you in partnership with Belt Drive Betty Media and the Canadian Motorcycle Tourism Association. You can register to answer the questions for a shot to win prizes or just take the quiz to satisfy your own brain power. Either way, we're excited to see how much of Alberta's history you really know. And yesterday's question was, how many bricks were produced in a single day at the Athabasca Brick Company in 1912? Is it A, 1,000, B, 10,000, or C, 40,000? And the answer is C, 40,000. In March 1911, a promotional piece by the Edmonton Bulletin for Athabasca Landing stated that the local clay had been tested and found to make a first-class brick. Claude Billet had discovered an abundance of, abundance of clay on his farm south of Athabasca. After doing some experiments with positive results, he established a brick factory. On June 20, 1912, with a crew of eight men, the plant produced 40,000 bricks. With a demand greater than the supply, Mr. Follett installed an up-to-date brick plant with a capacity to produce 50,000 bricks a day. According to the Nor Northern News, it had arrived by September 1912. Soon drying sheds were built and large amounts of wood were brought in to be used as fuel. Plans were underway to drill for gas as it would provide a cheaper fuel with easier access than all that wood. His bricks were used to rebuild many local buildings after the 1913 fires decimated the town. One was the Hudson's Bay Company store, which closed in 1924 and was demolished in 1966. In 1913, Mr. Follett also hired Ewald W. Walden, an expert potter. Walden, who had had years of experience in Germany and the U.S., tested the blue-gray clay for pottery qualities. The clay fired well and absorbed colors so a pottery wheel was built and a kiln installed. Bases, bowls, pitcher jars, and flower pots, as well as drain tiles and bricks were turned out and the pottery was sold in local stores. Despite, despite a promising start, ceramics were not destined to be a mainstay in Athabasca's economy and the brick factory eventually failed, in part due to the freight charges to get the product to distant, smart, distant markets and the depression. The lead died in 1920 and the land was sold and returned to farming. Mr. Walden, the potter, established a small brick and pottery plant on his farm, which supplied bricks and utensils to local farmers for a number of years. The tradition of pottery lives on in Athabasca through the local pottery club. They are one of, if not the only club, that still makes its own clay in Alberta. It's taken from the original farm, where the current owners have been donating it for more than 50 years. The images of the Athabasca pottery in the video have been supplied by the Athabasca Archives who have some pieces on display as well as other information about brick and pottery industries in the area. And tomorrow's question is, the population of Edmonton in 1892 was 700 people. How many showed up to protest the move of the land office? Is it A, more than 50? B, more than 100, or C, more than 200. Come back tomorrow for the answer and the story that goes along with it. Then we'll load you up with the next day's question. Enjoy!